My top priority for 2017 is to leave work every day with a smile. And the way that smile comes is by being successful. I learned over the course of the first term, you can't fix things overnight. Compromise and partnerships are the way to be successful. And I've got a city council now that is great to work with. You know, they stop by. They want to talk about a couple of matters. My door is always open. They're in here frequently. We discuss things. That's the way it should be. That's the way I think the people of Jeffersonville want their city government run. 2017 is going to be the year of retail. The property on Highway 62 and 10th Street just before 265, two very large developments are going on to those two parcels of ground on the left and the right of 10th Street. You're going to see a new Kroger there. You're going to see a new Baptist East Hospital. And then when you go on the other side of 265, there's another large parcel of ground. That's where we're gonna have a movie theater. That's where we're gonna have a couple of hotels. That's where we're gonna have a bevy of huge restaurant increase. 10th Street and Highway 62 are gonna be forever changed in Jeff. And 2017 is gonna be remembered as the year we brought retail. The East End Bridge, the now Lewis and Clark Bridge, is the most significant thing to ever happen to the city of Jeffersonville. We're about to begin a huge project of fixing 10th Street. This is something that we've talked about for decades and nobody's ever taken the plunge and said, let's do it. We're doing that come April 1 of this year. The construction of 10th Street will begin and it also will play a huge role in our future. But the Lewis and Clark Bridge, everything grows from that. I want to make sure it grows in a positive way. When you create thousands of new jobs in your city, it's going to have a dynamic effect on everything. And it's important as a city that you're not just focusing on the jobs. You're focusing on the retention of the residents. You're focusing on the quality of life of the people who live here. People want to live in our downtown Jeff. And, and we've got some property down there that quite frankly is ready to flourish. It's at the foot of everything that's going on down there. Large yards. I grew up in Oak Park. We had a one acre yard. It was a great childhood. I loved it. Developers aren't doing that kind of thing anymore. They're looking at density. They're looking at putting people around amenities in a comfortable setting with nice things at their, at their doorstep. That's what our downtown offers. It offers a nightlife. It offers all of the amenities. It offers all the conveniences. We've got to be the city that sees the direction of the growth. The direction of the growth are people want to be in the downtown. They want to be able to walk to a restaurant a block away from them. They want to be 10 minutes from work. That's what we have. I want to make sure people see that, and I want to make sure that we're putting incentives in place to make that happen. If people don't feel safe in your community, they're not going to come here. When I first came in, I moved several police officers away from behind a desk, and I put them in a patrol car. I wanted them in our neighborhoods. I wanted them on our streets. I want the families to know that when they go to bed at night, their neighborhood is safe. Police officers and firefighters, we've got the best two departments in the state of Indiana. I'll, I'll put them up against anybody because they're not only very professional, they're extremely friendly. Ultimately, you just want to feel safe. And that's what the police presence will give you. We're making a difference. We're improving people's lives. That's what 2017 is about. That's what 2018 is going to be about. 2017 is off to a great start, and I look for nothing but positive things ahead.